All right, six in the morning. This is probably one of the last mornings um, that I can start my walk in a t-shirt because this week it's really nice weather. It's up to 80, but Friday it's gonna go down to 60 and it's gonna start raining and then the highs are like right over 50. So fall is really kicking in here, but I love taking a walk in the morning when it's still dark before everyone starts getting up on the school buses and uh like summertime for instance when it's like 85 when you wake up and it's already humid i hate that but this is the perfect weather so it's time for my four mile morning power work to start the day i'm extremely tired and um it's just one of those days i don't feel like doing this at all but uh, here we go do it anyway all right it's getting lighter out 57 minutes in four miles we're done so yeah i mean today just seems to be one of those days where I, I don't really feel like much at all i mean i did my walk in the morning uh i have this weird headache like on the side of my head that just won't go away advil doesn't help nothing still on my way to the gym but i think it's during these days where you don't feel like doing anything and you just do it anyway that's where you really get something out of it All right, so we're back home from the gym. Look at this guy. He just looks like a ball of soot. He's so dark, dude. Unless he like shows his teeth, or oh, it's just black. Buddy, buddy, hi, hi, buddy. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, <laughs> oh. So they're getting ready here soon. They know that it's almost dinner time. And what they get, partially, is the farmer's dog food that we got for Gucci only when we had her, but now obviously we have him. So they kind of share one of these per day and then they get some, some other food as well. But they love this stuff. It's expensive as hell. It's frozen currently, so, but it's really good food. Like, it's like puree form or whatever. You just let it, you know, sit in warm water and then you serve it and they love it. So, anyhow, for me, I got some protein, whey isolate. I haven't uh, really taken protein powder in so long, probably like 15 years. And this isn't like a brand that I'm trying to promote or anything like that. I just stopped by a GNC and then this is kind of what was up front and center. So I'm gonna try this out. We're gonna make a little protein shake here now. Let's start with some milk, fat-free milk. I think that should be enough. I don't even know how to make a protein shake anymore, to be honest. Got a little banana now. I'm going to do one scoop. Now we'll do two scoops. I know, I know. Some of you guys have been like, you know, when's uh, your wife and Sydney gonna be on the new personal channel? It's 4.26 a.m. I just dropped her off at the airport. It's her birthday tomorrow. She's going down to South Carolina to hang out with her girlfriend. A little girl trip for three days. She doesn't wanna be on video this early in the morning. But yeah, I am uh, dead tired. Somehow I woke up like at 2 a.m. and couldn't fall back asleep. So I've slept probably three hours. Maybe four. Um, I've had two cups of coffee already, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to go straight straight to the gym, I think, uh, as soon as I get home. And the thing is, when I go to the gym, I know that the footage from there is like kind of crappy. I'm not some fitness YouTuber. You know, I work out by myself. I'm not gonna walk in there with a uh, freaking tripod and stuff. So I just set my phone up, you know, where I can, try to get some footage, but yeah. Maybe that, that'll get better uh, in the future. But anyhow, I'm driving the Raptor, I don't really get to see this truck very much, very often. Um, still love it. It's got 24,000 miles on it. See, you guys get a little Raptor update here. I don't even have that on the main channel. All right, once again, uh, out on a walk here. So when I got back from dropping my wife off, 
at the airport. I took the dogs for a walk. After that, I got ready to go to the gym and everything. I never go to the gym that I go to this early on a weekend. So I didn't know that they don't open till eight on a Saturday. They usually open at five on weekdays. So what I decided to do was take my morning walk now and it's 7.03. So I'm gonna have another cup of coffee here and chill for a little bit. And then we're going to the gym. Well, another cup of coffee. Got Gucci out here, front porch. It's definitely uh, uh, getting fally here now. It's like 50 degrees outside. Um, while I love fall, I don't mind the cooler temperatures. I hate what comes after, I hate winter. Just despise it with a passion. But anyhow, so for the second night in a row, um, I've only gotten about four hours of sleep, which kind of sucks. I already got 11,000 steps in though by 7, 18 a.m., which is good. 6.2 miles all in all. So let's take a look at uh, my workout for today. So today's quads, hams, and glutes. Um, and you can see here the way uh, we have it set up. So I start with three sets, 25 reps each. It's about 50, 60 pounds I use, and then it's some traditional squats now I got uh, bad lower back problems since way back it's an old basketball injury and then you know I worked all these labor jobs growing up and stuff and I messed up my back a couple times there and it's just I, I'm always like scared of messing up my lower back so when I do squats I go very easy like max weight is probably 150 that I, I pack on uh, for the set where I don't really do a lot of reps as you can see there, uh, 20 reps the first set, 15 reps the second, and then 10, 10. Then we got dumbbell step up. I hate this exercise. I usually substitute this for something else. And then we got leg extensions again, and it's seven sets, 15 reps each, with only 30 seconds of rest between the sets. So do you burn like it's it's crazy. And then we got some machine lying leg curl, and then we got barbell straight leg Romanian deadlift. So that's what I end it with. And uh, the way that this, like, my workouts are set up now by my trainer is, um, it's just, it's different from how I used to do it, where, you know, I don't know if it's old school thinking, where you just, you want to do, you know, less reps and heavier weights. Now it's it's more reps and less weights, which... I'm, I'm learning to actually appreciate and prefer. Like the pump against my arms, when you, like I used to do biceps curls with like 40 pound dumbbells. And maybe, you know, I didn't do as many reps. Now I use 15 pound dumbbells and I do 25 reps. And I mean, it, and it's like constant tension to the muscle, it's insane. I know if you're not really into like fitness and stuff and working out, you might think this talk is boring, but um, I just find it interesting how the workouts have evolved and everything. So yeah, I got the second guy coming out here, a huh, Lambo. Well, are you in there by yourself, buddy? Uh huh? Oh, see, and he's so funny. He'll literally jump up and he wants a hug. So we'll hug a little bit, give some lovings. Oh, little buddy. <laughs> oh, kiss it. Thank you. That's so sweet. Oh, oh, it's great. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, you big black bear. Huh? You big black bear. Free workout. <laughs> uh, can I get some help, please? What? Hello. Can I get like a shake or something, huh? Yeah, you can get a shake. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, I don't know. What do you What do you uh, recommend? <laughs> I like strawberries. I like strawberries, bananas, and Okay, I'll try strawberry because I usually do chocolate. Strawberry, banana first. Yeah. Okay, so the one that I do. I do Dude, one. That's a nice gig where you can go to work in your pajamas. Turn around there real quick. I got pinky too. Turn around. Oh, you got a pinky dinky drink. What? Ripping the merch? What? <laughs> Cindy's first job. Look at that. It doesn't lock in, does it? Mmm, this thing is good. What's in it? 
strawberry. Banana and vanilla protein. And vanilla protein. It's like a dope smoothie. Pink, you got your pink drink and I got mine. Yeah. Both got pinky dinky drinks. Yes. <laughs> Mine's homemade though. You got Starbucks. Why do you drink those when you can get these, like, on the job? So much better. Uh, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, since it's the weekend, Sydney's helping out on a Saturday, doing uh, some work. It's technically her first little job there. That gym is owned by her side of the family. And that's where I work out. So it was kind of funny to see her behind the, uh, the counter <laughs> working and making me a shake and everything. But now we're back home, boiling some eggs. And they're done here in um, yeah two seconds. But it's actually nice to have uh, all this stuff done by 10 o'clock. This is usually when I go to the gym. Now I have uh, the greater part of the day left where I can do focus on some editing and just get stuff done. I can do focus on some editing and just get stuff done. That's right. So as you guys now know is that we have two channels. So it's the main channel and then this channel. But that's not completely true because I actually have a third channel that I had before this channel that you're watching right now um, and it's my channel fully I own it technically I don't make the content I'm not the face of the channel I outsource um, script writing and stuff like that and editing and thumbnail design and all that stuff and the channel is in a completely different genre and I haven't told anyone about it I mean my wife knows if she even remembers or whatever but I've been wanting to keep that channel uh, just secret to be honest with you, um, and have it grow organically. It's not quite uh, monetized. It's very, very close. And uh, I want it to, to grow and become something that's just like a second stream of income for me, which it will eventually. It just takes a little bit of time. And eventually I might um, reveal the channel. I, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I, I prefer to keep it, keep it kind of secret that no one knows that it's mine, whenever it, you know, gets big so yeah but uh who knows maybe i will reveal it to you guys at some point i mean i'm kind of letting you in on a secret but I, i'm kind of not because i'm not really revealing anything so you have no clue what the channel is but it's not obviously not something i'm just making up uh, i've had this now for a few months uh, at certain points uh, it got a little slow where i didn't upload as much and stuff um but now i've picked it back up again and i'm getting subs and uh definitely have all the watch time i just need enough subscribers to be able to get it monetized here and it'll come very very soon um so we'll see in the future if you guys find out about it or not but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's like the fourth video but kind of like the third type of like behind the scenes vlog i mean if it wasn't for this channel you'd never know that like sydney actually kind of works part-time now uh and sometimes on weekends and stuff which is funny like she's over 14 it's nutty how, how quickly time flies. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.